Well, this year's U.S. women's gymnastics team has two Olympic all-around champions on the squad. That has never happened before in the sport. Uh, they're, they're spoiled a yeah. little bit in that regard. <laughs> What's also never happened before is three gymnasts on the squad have competed collegiately. We happen to have our own former collegiate gymnast here on our staff, Whitney Hardy, joining us now to explain why that's significant for this team and for the future in tonight's Chalk Talk, Whitney. That's right, guys. There are lots of reasons why we haven't seen many post-collegiate athletes or current collegiate athletes make the women's Olympic team, but the most influential reason can be summed up in three letters, N-I-L. No sport has had a bigger impact from name, image, and likeness than gymnastics, and it's not just profits, but rather participation. In 2004, 25-year-old Mohini Bahardwaj became the first gymnast in recent memory to make the U.S. Women's Olympic gymnastics team after competing in college. I had a lot of people just looking at me like, who is this old lady and do they really think that they're going to make the team? For many years, college gymnastics wasn't taken seriously. So with Mara Caroli at the helm, she never encouraged college athletes to come back. It wasn't part of her culture and what she believed would produce the best athletes. It was seen as a retirement home. We just didn't have athletes that were able to continue past college because their bodies were so broken down. And for former Olympians like Dominique Mochianu, it wasn't that they didn't want to compete in college. It was simply a non-factor after accepting endorsement deals or money from their Olympic achievements. It really was like we felt we were stuck. Now NIL and college has opened up a lot of doors for athletes that were never there. And these gymnasts are flying through those doors. Three members of this year's Paris team have competed in college, Suni Lee at Auburn, Jordan Childs at UCLA, and Jade Carey at Oregon State. There were so many benefits to being a part of a collegiate program that you're competing, you're in front of a spotlighted audience all the time, and there's a lot of energy, and you learn how to be a team. And the scoring system is the good old 10.0. I think the college programs do bring out that perfectionist in the performance, which is every detail matters, which also will make you a better elite gymnast. Now that positive positive effect from gymnastics doesn't end after the Olympics or never even exist without them. And we've spent our whole life doing this sport, so I feel like we should be able to walk away with something. And that's what's yeah. so amazing. Five to seven girls usually make the Olympic team. Normally mm -hmm. those are the girls that can make any kind of money after you've trained for a, for a decade of your life. But now with NIL, LSU's Livy Dunn is the yeah. perfect example. She was not the next superstar. She was not someone that you would know as an Olympian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she has made so much from who she is. She has. And that is what gymnasts can do now. Yeah, absolutely. Brings a lot of, uh, highlights the sport a lot more. Sure. It definitely does. Definitely. Whitney, thank you so right. much.